What's going on, Tar Heel Nation? It is your favorite North Carolinian, Ross the Tar Heel. And in this huddle, man, I got some stinking exciting news, baby. Oh my goodness, I feel like a kid in a stinking candy shop. It's almost like a return to some kind of uh, familiarity that I would have as a, a small child watching college football, bro. The North Carolina Tar Heels are going back to stinking helmet stickers, dude. Oh my goodness, man. I'm so excited about that. It's I, You might say, bro, you're acting like you're seven years old. What is stinking more synonymous with college football than helmet stickers, bro? Oh man, I'm so stinking stoked about that. I could not believe my ears when I heard Coach Mac Brown say that they were going back to stinking helmet stickers. It's fire. Absolute stinking fire. You ever seen Ohio State stinking uh, helmets when it's decked out with stinking Buckeye stuff? Bro, it's stinking clean. What's another another team that stinking is uh, infamous for this? I think Michigan used to have a ton of helmet stickers, man. I mean, it's just absolutely stinking clean. And Coach Mack Brown said it was long overdue, that he should have done it when he first came back. And you know what, Coach? I stinking agree, man. Now... One of the reasons that he said that they were going to the helmet stickers is because it's almost an incentive. It incentivizes the players to obviously give 110%. Man, you do something stinking great, you get a freaking helmet sticker, bro. And it looks clean. It's like a badge of honor in the Army. You know, when you go to a certain school or you, you're in some form of combat, you know, you get jump wings. I had jump wings. Combat action badge. You know, infantry guys get uh, a CIB. You know, it's it's a badge of honor. It's something to wear proudly. The North Carolina Tar Heels, they're going to put stinking actual Tar Heels on their helmet, man. And I love it. It's stinking clean. Super clean, man. And uh, I had to get on here and make a quick video. Now, basically, some of the... Uh, the criteria, if you will, if a running back rushes for over 100 yards or gains 50% of his yards after contact, he gets a decal. If an offensive lineman executes a pancake block, he gets a decal. If a linebacker has 10 or more tackles, he gets a decal. If you're deemed the player of the week on the offensive and defensive scout teams, you get a decal. Hey, you want your scout team guys to think and give you 110%. You got to give the starters good looks. Incentivize that, man. Everybody plays an integral role, you know, in the success of this team. Starters, second team guys, scout team guys. Award them. Reward these guys for their hard, stinking work, man. And and I just think this is amazing. It's a no-brainer to me, and it's going to generate a lot of excitement in that stinking locker room, bro. It says Co Coach Mac Brown and his staff, they went to the Player Leadership Council and they devised up the criteria, you know, how they're going to divvy out, issue out these stinking awards um, and these decals on the helmet. And uh, I, for one, like I said, I'm absolutely stoked. When I was in high school, you know, we had stinking helmet decals. We actually had footballs that go on the front for touchdowns, two-point conversions, things of that nature. And then we had stars for, like, exceptional defensive plays, sack, interception. Uh, you know, even if you made kind of a, um, you know, a play that was just like out of the ordinary. It was, it was a much more liberal standard, if you will. My helmet was stinking covered, not bragging, but bragging. But um, you know, just super excited about this, man. It just, it tell me that doesn't stink and scream college football, bro. And what is cleaner than a Carolina blue helmet with that beautiful white interlocking NC? and a couple of stinking Tar Heels all over there saying, I am that stinking dude. Woo! I am stoked, as you can stink and tell, man. It's going to be clean. It's beautiful. I don't, like, I literally feel like, you know, somebody gave me $5, and I just got, 
you know, released into the candy shop. That's how stinking cool I think it is, man. So let me know what you think about helmet stickers coming back to Chapel Hill down in the comment section. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and we will catch you on the next one, Tar Hill Nation. Oh